Welcome to the English language highlights of Sapambri FC's victory against Port FC. The two owners welcoming the players out, Madame Pang for Port FC, and of course President Top for Sapambri. Knew that last season, Port Alcintarua, as they were known then, won this fixture. And the victory, the 2 0 victory tonight for Sapambri FC, shows the development in the War Elephant since then. We started with an unchanged lineup from that which started against Buriram United. Anurak in goal, Natapong, Marcio, who's just signed an extension to his contract, which is great news for the club, Captain Pratt and Ponlawat. In midfield, our South Korean Lee, Daechar and Supot, with Andre, and up front, Jakapan and Carmelo. Three players for Port FC with strong connections to Sapambri, Suchon, who left us last season, Ali Diara, who was on loan to us in 2011, and Nantachon, who was briefly on loan to us in 2012. Well, the first half was a 45 minutes of very few chances. Port FC were well set up, they're a very physical side, and from free kicks and corners, they were very dangerous. A lot of pressure put on Anorak there, but he did well to keep possession. As we went down the left-hand side, getting Natapong trying to probe, the fluidity of our central midfield is really good to see, because the way that Port FC were set up in that first half, they were very difficult to break down. Unfortunately for Daychar, he won't want to see that shot again too many times, but it shows the pressure that Port made. There was a good chance from a corner early on from the uh, right-hand side. It came across, and Brent McGrath, who's currently on loan from Chonbury, and remember last season played for Sisakep, had a half chance that was well cleared on the line by Ponlawat, and then a succession of mishit shots ended up in going behind the goal. And that was one of the few relatively clear-cut chances in that first 45 minutes. A lot of it from Subambri was probing. Lovely ball here on the left, or down the left, by Lee. Lovely bit of curve there, so that Natapong ran onto it. But, as with many of the chances in the first 45 minutes, they did tend to peter out. But, you could see for Subambri that they were starting to ask more and more questions. Ali Diar, always been a strong player. He's been to a lot of different clubs, but he links up really well here with Brent McGrath. But you look at Marcio, the pressure he puts on the players. There was very little else that Brent McGrath could do apart from shoot it over the bar. So again, with the midfield, we were working really hard with Date Char as ever, but the uh, Port Lions, as they are known, or used to be known, the Port Lions, and now the Horses, were starting to look better as the half went on. Saruta, the former Bangkok glass player, he's got such fast feet, very, very difficult to dispossess, and I think McGrath here made the wrong choice. He could well have put it across to Ekabum, a former Mumtong United man. Slight half chance there for us from a corner, but really, I think the best thing for us at the half-time was to go in without any goals being conceded. Number five for Port Suradech is a really strong presence, and he did well, but he'll be very disappointed about the second goal. He was pulled out of position and allowed our Spanish international, Carmelo Gonzalez, to score. But again, you look down the left-hand side there, lovely fast feet to beat Marcio like that. There's very few players that can do that. It's brought across well, and the shot... Really nicely blocked off by Marcio as ever. He's a very hard man to get round or through. But the probing by Port is just not quite the quality. And the first half ended where Port will probably be slightly disappointed that they didn't carve out more chances. But Sapamri, particularly with Sergio Farias in half-time, who's just been named Coach of the Week by Goal.com, Sapamri knew that they'd have plenty more up their sleeve. And that's what happened. The second half had us much more on the front foot. We used our substitutes wisely. We brought on uh, Sergio Van Dijk towards the end as well. And we uh, made sure there were a lot more questions to be asked of the Port FC. Andre Luis has ever did really well linking up the play. And Daechar, that central midfield, is very, very fluid. Very tough for players to set up against that because they're not sure which players we're going to use. Really nice shot there by Ponlawat. And beautifully followed up by two players by the deadly duo Andre Luis and Carmelo Gonzalez. And Andre gets there first. It's a really tough shot by Ponlawat. And you can see the beauty of having an attacking player like Ponlawat. He beats the player for dead. And it's a very difficult shot bouncing just before the goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper, Dungsari, will be very disappointed he didn't get it further away. Ekebom is left for dead there. Ponlawat winds up the shot, and look at the great running off the ball as well by Andre. He drags the captain across, 
making a small piece of space which they both drive into, Carmelo and Andre drive into, and it goes in under the goalkeeper's body. That was a great lift two minutes after half-time. It was such a good lift for Sabanbury FC, and it really relieved the pressure and allowed us to play and also made Port FC come out more and make more space for our attacking midfielders. Andre cuts inside, as ever, those tremendous fast feet, great change of direction. He's just eased off towards the end of that run by the hard-working Saruta. But then Jacopan fights back, and it was really, it really showed how the team all work hard to gain possession. This is the Sergio Furious way. Supot, he's really impressed since he's come onto the uh, scene. A really good young Thai player, start of a new breed. Couldn't quite get a header at the back post there, but we were getting more and more chances. You'll see there that the, uh, another connection from Supambri who came on was a substitute, Pitchett who played for us as well and uh, scored, I think, nine goals while he was on loan to us. So Pitchett was actually very dangerous, very fast player, and he had one or two half chances, but it wasn't to be for Thai Port or Port FC. So Carmelo, as ever, goes down the right side this time. He beats Ali Diar really well. He skins him, gets it across nicely, very thoughtful, pulling it back, and the shot is charged down. But Port FC are starting to realise that they have to attack more if their season is going to start picking up because they finished this game with only three points. They're four from bottom, and in their three away games, they've got no points and no goals. And you contrast that to Zapambri FC. We are top of the away goal charts with seven points. So Port FC have a lot of questions to answer, but they did, near the uh, away support, the great away support from Sapamba FC, have a couple of chances. Well done to Saruta for not going down under a heavy challenge. Very impressive. A lot of players would have dived, but the ball came out to Andre. The possession, the way we retain possession, is a big development from last season. We're making sure that even if we have to clear it long, there's lots of options there. Lovely bit of uh, play there again by Garmelo. Uh, Jacoban gets it across beautifully to Andre. Lovely touch, and it just seems to go in slow motion. No one can get to it. It appears to be still in play, but the corner is given rather than goal. Carmelo can't believe it. He thought he had that. There was another chance for Port FC. Again, a half chance. But Port FC need to start taking these very soon if they're not going to be struggling down with the other bottom three clubs. It's half cleared away by Sapambri, intelligently brought across to the right by Port, and the lofted cross comes over, and it's cleared for another corner. The pressure was starting to mount, and at the 1-0 we really needed that second goal. This was perhaps poor defending from us, the header by Marcio, as he gets knocked over by the ball from Saruta, showing the power of that. Again, Pitchett getting involved a lot, and uh, Brett McGrath, a lot goes through Brett McGrath as well, and I think Port are going to want to keep him from Chombri, because he's an influential player in the Port lineup. Very good cross there, and Pitchett's best chance of the game, he knows he should have done better there. And here comes the goal. The number five, the captain is drawn across and left out of position. And a beautiful ball by Deitch, our lovely timing. Carmelo stays on side and there's no way that the big number five, Suradech, is going to catch him. He waits, he waits, he draws the goalkeeper and he places it between the feet of the advancing keeper. Carmelo knows how important that goal is because not only does it mean we finish the game second behind RB United, it means we go into the international break on a great run of form and we then look forward to April the 4th at 7pm when we take on SCG Tong United. And you'll see in the replay there, it's totally calm. There's never a doubt about where that ball is going. And that was a great time to score and to seal the win because of the pressure that Port were just starting to exert. Again, from the corner, there's pressure. And um, uh, unusually, unconvincingly perhaps, uh, Anorak gets the ball across. Again, more midfield interplay. I think Saruta and McGrath, two of the key players. The ball comes across. And then Anorak, under pressure, just drops the ball, but it's well cleared by our defenders, by Natapon on that occasion. Comes out across, and then there's more of, again, a half chance. Port just didn't quite get those clear-cut chances that they wanted, despite all the effort that they put in. Then Jacopan has just started to get more space down the right-hand side as the game moves on, and it makes sure that the Port defenders are worried about one of the form teams in Thailand at the moment. So, Sapambri at this stage were happy to keep possession, making sure that they didn't concede a goal. And then with Sergio coming on as well, 
We were protecting the ball a lot more. There was a half chance here for Sergio. He wanted to score another goal in front of his dad, but didn't quite do it on this occasion. But really useful for him to come on and to make sure that we kept possession really well. The last action of the game was our former player, Suchon, tries to get the ball through, doesn't quite find Saruta. So a really impressive win by us in difficult conditions. And we now have a big break until April the 4th, but we've got a chance on March the 26th to support Jacopan in the Thai national team against Singapore, which is in Nakon Ratchasima. And then on March the 30th at the SCG Stadium, we take on, or the Thai national team with Jacopan takes on, Cameroon. So, really good start to the season, this. It's a great time to go into the break, full of confidence, playing as a team, with lots of standout performances. So, congratulations to the War Elephant.